Hello everyone, Yoro here, and today I'm bringing you an updated tutorial on how to install CS Lawn Manager. Because there recently has been a slight change in how the whole download thing works, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you. First of all, I would recommend you to go to uh, Killerskin's website, where you will definitely find the links in usually multiple spots. There's often a download link here on the top, but there's always this one here, where I'm just gonna click on for now. Then you are in the CSLOL Manager GitHub directory, and here you can see all the newest releases. Here, make sure to always take the most recent one, and it's best if it does not have the pre-release tag on it. Here you just want to download the exe file, because you don't need the source code to run it. Then just save it wherever you want, I'm gonna save it in downloads. Then, now as you can see it's a 7z file and in exe, so just double click it. Then you will usually get a pop-up uh, from your PC that it just warns you about the exe, that you should not run exe files you don't know, basically. But you just want to click on show more and just execute it anyways, because it's safe. Okay, if you're not sure if it's safe, you can check the source code yourself. Now, it prompts you where to extract it to. I'm just gonna leave it in downloads. As you can see, you have a folder called CS Lawn Manager, and inside you can find the exe file for it. So I'm just gonna start the exe file. And yeah, there we go. Now that's your CS Lawn Manager. It's, it already found the game itself and everything. Now, as a next step, I'm just gonna download a skin. I'm gonna go for something simple, which is Star Guardian Seraphine. Which I'm just gonna download. And I guess it should be the right one. Okay, now it's downloading. Even though it's a phantom file, this runs in CSO Manager. This is just a file type. Now it's gonna load it. And there you can see the mod. So there might be a few changes coming to CS LOL Manager over time, but the basic functionality sh should still be the same. So on new mods, if you click here, you can go to the page of the author, if they linked one, for example, of the link tree or the killer skins overview or anything. Then there will be a mod updates a website. And here you can edit the mod. For example, if you want to rename it, if you want to change the order inside CSLOL, you can put whatever in here. For example, if you have multiple mods and you want like one at the top always, you can just put in 01, and then it will always be on top. Here you can also, if it's if the author put it in, go to the um, homepage, so the killer skins post, and like the author's homepage link again. And there are the files, so you should not mess around with those, otherwise it won't work. So what you just want to do to run it is click on here, and then press run. Now you will see a bunch of stuff at the bottom. Don't worry about that, it's, it just shows what the program is doing right now. So just let it run for a bit until it's finished. And now when it says for waiting for league match to start, you can actually go in-game and view your skin. So I'm just gonna do that. So now I'm loading into the game and as you can see the skin works because it has a custom splash art and there you go. Now you loaded the skin in-game. As a next step I'm gonna show you what you can do if your skin actually does not load in-game. Okay, I'm gonna stop LCS manager and remove, or actually I'm just gonna restart it now. So sometimes when you press run, your it does just doesn't load the skins. So what you want to do here is you want to run it with admin rights. 
there you will get the admin rights pop up and then it just opens the tool with admin rights. Now what you cannot do anymore is drag and drop in files. So you will actually have to add mods manually. So you want to click on here and and then just load in the phantom file as well. Now it's loaded and it's just going to do the same thing where you press run and it just yeah, loads the mod. And in game then it should work if it didn't work for you the first time. Now what I'm also going to do is explain a bit of the settings that CS Law has. First of all, there's the blacklist extra game mode setting, which I would recommend you to turn it off. This can cause issues if you want to mod, for example, Nexus Blitz or probably also TFT. Aram is fine. But there are just some others which will cause the game to crash if it's turned on. Suppressed install conflicts can come into action if your mods um, edit the same files. So it can cause issues. If you have it turned on, but if you have it turned off, some mods don't work together. So you just have to see um, if it works together or if mods are really buggy. So, But yeah, as always, I would recommend to test all of your skins first in a custom game before actually going in-game. Ignore faulty mods. I'm not totally sure what it does, but again, I would just turn it on and test it out and see it, yeah. In the systems tab we first have logs, which just shows you a log of what CSLOL just did. Usually you don't need to look at that unless there are some issues, then it can sometimes help if you face the log. But if you run into a specific error on CSLOL you get a pop-up with the log anyways. Then we have the updates button which takes you to the download page simply. Now for the update URLs I actually don't really know how it works and I think it's a bit more complicated. So there will be an explanation on the website on the Killerskins post about how to install uh, mods. Maybe if somebody does it, if not there won't be any, but it's not like vital information anyways, you don't really have to use it. Uh, enable Sistray icon, for which I moved over my taskbar and removed my face. Because as you can see, if you click it here, it will turn up on your on the, your taskbar with like minimize and run settings. So just some really basic stuff, which you, I guess, don't really need if you don't want it. Then the next setting is auto run on program start, which does exactly what it says. So I'm just going to close it after I turn it on. And now you start the program and it's running already. Which saves you a bit of time if you always want to start with the same mods or something. But if you don't, you just have to stop it all the time, which is a bit annoying. Then lastly we have the theme, which first of all you can turn off dark mode if you are a heretic. And then you can just play around with some colors. A bit of customization. And last step, I'm gonna show you how you can add your CSLOL to the Windows search field, which means that if you type in type it in here, you can easily open it from there and don't have to go to the exe file. So now what you want to do is go to your volume C, then make sure that in the view tab check that the show hidden files and folders, or aka this setting, is enabled. Then go to program data, then Microsoft, then Windows, then start menu, and programs. As you can see, there's already one there, but I'm just going to show you how you can actually do that. Just go to the exe of the CSLOL manager, drag it onto there, but make sure that you that you hold left alt key. Because otherwise you're just going to copy it over, but you just want to hold left alt key and then... Um, 
that's it. And it's just going to show up in here, and all the programs that show up in here also show up in the Windows search. You can do that with every program as well. And yeah, that was it for the new CSLOL tutorial. I hope this helped you. I hope this cleared up some issues some people had with the new installation method. And yeah, see ya. Mm -hmm.